This program is brought to you by Emory University. I was a big comic book fan growing up, and um, what really interests me as I watch the, these stories move from uh, the comic books to the screen 30, 40 years after the orig original comic books were written is the change in the way in which we think about and portray the technologies involved. So Spider-Man originally was bitten by a spider that had been exposed to radiation. The Fantastic Four became the Fantastic Four because they were astronauts who had gone into space and gone through a strange radiation belt in space and came back with these powers. And that's because at the time in the 60s and 70s in the, in the midst of, of you know, the, um, still the response to, to nuclear blasts, the development of nuclear energy and an enormous amount of social protests around, the use of, around nuclear energy and radiation, um, a certainty that we were all going to be destroyed by a nuclear blast and the resultant radiation that would... Um, radiation was the scientific phenomenon around which people had fear and mystery. It's not true anymore. That isn't how we think about radiation anymore. Now it's how we think about genetics. So when the first Spider-Man movie came out, the spider that bit Peter Parker was not subject to radiation as it was in the comic books. It had been genetically manipulated. And if a new Spider-Man comes out 20 years from now, maybe the spider will be a product of synthetic biology. Who knows what the technology will be 20 years from now that will have that same sense of mystery and fear. So it's fascinating to watch as we move forward in time. The science has to keep up in the sense that if you use outdated science, it's just people just don't believe it because they know too much about it. So you have to find what is that technology right now that holds that sense of potential, the sense of people know something about it so it's not completely mysterious to them, but they don't know enough about it to know that that particular use of it could never happen or is absurd. And so genetics is, we're in that genetic moment now. And that will pass and there'll be something else in the future. But that's one of the reasons why I think the X-Men are so interesting, why, uh, because they're genetic mutants, why Spider-Man transformed from a radiation phenomenon to a genetic phenomenon. And so the movies just have to follow that kind of social trending in order to really um, be able to resonate with their audiences. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.